It's Thursday, February 9th, and speculation around the next Apple iPhone, commonly referred to as the iPhone 8, just got another round of speculation. This time, the interesting whispers are according to Fast Company, who say it might not be called the iPhone 8, but instead it could be known as the iPhone X, as in X410, since it's the 10-year anniversary of the phone. Another interesting idea, there may be a 3D sensing camera of some sort, which would actually be a logical extension of the dual lens camera found on the iPhone 7 Plus. There's also talk that the home button and even the side buttons could be replaced by touch sensitive panels. And lastly, the price. If all this stuff ends up in the new iPhone, you can likely expect it will cost a grand or maybe more. Again, it's all rumors so far, but Apple typically locks down the design specs in March, so production can begin for deliveries in September. Hit the link below for the full rumor roundup. It's almost been a full year since we got a peek at the beta version of Android Wear 2.0, and now, at long last, it's been rolled out. New watches with 2.0 are now available, and the big update hit yesterday, but not for every watch. So hit our link to see the whole list of which watch gets an upgrade. So what's new? It's a long list, but some highlights include adding complications, little data panels, if you will, to the watch face, and single tap customizations to do specific things like call an Uber and responding to texts right on the watch, along with better fitness tracking, to name just a few. Another notable feature is the addition of Google Assistant AI, so yes, you can now talk to your watch and have it do things, and maybe it'll talk back. Hmm. Anyway, Android Wear 2.0 also marks a distinct move towards giving the watch more autonomy instead of relying on a phone to do all the heavy data lifting. You can't make calls on it yet without a phone, but that day is probably coming sooner than later. Get all the Android Wear 2.0 tips and tricks at the link. Virtual reality is the hottest thing in tech right now, but apparently it isn't hot enough to keep a bunch of Oculus Rift kiosks in operation at Best Buy stores. The electronics chain told Business Insider that they are shutting down 200 of their 500 Rift demo stations. Oculus says it's just a seasonal thing, but Best Buy said the demo stations sometimes go days without seeing any action, so we don't doubt they'd like to reclaim that retail real estate. Maybe the shine is off VR for the moment, so we suggest they take it to the next level. Make it wireless, maybe. How about definitely? It could only help. That's it for DT Daily today. We do have a Facebook page and YouTube channel that are fun to visit, so check them out. And we have all of the rest of the day's tech news updates at digitaltrends.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow.